Welcome to the daily insights that matter. Foreign portfolio investors or FPIs have pulled out money from Indian equities in the first week of October on the back of several factors. After being net sellers in the first two months of the calendar year, FPIs were constantly and consistently buying Indian equities in the last six months from March to August and brought in 1.74 lakh crores during the period. However, September and the first week of October saw them turning net sellers to the tune of 14,768 crores and almost 8,000 crores indicating a shift. FPIs have dumped Indian equities on the back of a dollar appreciation and the steady rise in US bond yields. Interestingly, the yield on the 10-year US Treasury bond has surpassed 4.8%, the highest level in over 16 years and nearly 45% higher than the 25-year average yield of 3.3%. India has been a top destination for foreign portfolio investments among emerging economies this year. However, we've seen a shift in the trend during September, which has continued into October. One significant factor behind the change has been the rising US bond yields, which have had a notable impact on market inflows. When bond yield increases in the United States, FPIs often divert their investments away from Indian equities towards the safety of US bonds. As a consequence of this, it can also lead to the depreciation of the Indian rupee. Fortunately, the selling by FPIs have been balanced by domestic institutional investors who have continued to buy Indian assets, helping to cushion the impact. Adding to the complexity, higher crude oil prices, persistently high inflation rates and elevated interest rates have made foreign investors more cautious about their approach in the Indian market. Furthermore, the ongoing conflict in Israel has the potential to disrupt global trade and influence investor sentiment as it escalates. It's worth noting that Iran, being a major oil producer, could have a significant impact on crude oil prices in the near term. In a nutshell, while India remains an attractive destination for foreign investments, various global and domestic factors are currently at play, making the market more dynamic and challenging to navigate. Let's talk about India Incorporation's business confidence. So recently, a survey conducted by the Confederation of Indian Industry or CII, which happens to be the largest industry body in India, revealed some pretty interesting findings. They reached to about 200 companies of all shapes and sizes spread across different industries and regions in the country to get the scoop. Now this survey unveiled that business confidence among Indian companies was at its highest in the three quarters, specifically for the period of July to September 2023. Well, it's largely because of the strong demand within the country and some solid macroeconomic fundamentals. That's a good sign, right? The CI came up with something called as the CI Business Confidence Index and it clocked in at 67.1 for the July-September 2023 quarter. Just to put it in context, it was at 66.1 in the April-June quarter and 62.2 in the same period last year. So you can see there's a nice upward trend happening. Now, whooping 66% of the surveyed companies believe that the Indian economy is going to grow somewhere between 6 to 7% in the fiscal year 24. That's right, in line with what the RBI and other international agencies have been saying. One big reason for this confidence is the government's focus on capital spending. It's like the shot in the arm for the Indian economy, sparking growth in various sectors through its ripple effect. There's also the good news of private investment making a comeback financial markets and credit growth looking healthy, service sector showing resilience and rural demand bouncing back. In terms of sales and new orders, two-thirds of the survey respondents expect things to pick up in the second quarter of fiscal year 24 even faster than the previous quarter. And about 53% feel that the companies are going to be operating at 75-200% cap capacity utilization in the September quarter. But of course, there's a flip side. There are some external factors lurking around like the global economy slowing down and rising oil prices. These pose a real risk to India's economic outlook, so it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Having said that, this is me, Rahalasan, signing off. Have a great day and stay safe. Did you like watching this video? Then download our app, Informed Investor, to watch more such informative and interesting videos. Equity investments are subject to market risk. Read all investment-related documents carefully. Visit www.researchandranking.com.